Hello everyone, I am your produce guy and I'm in the backyard today. They say that good things come in small packages and this is no exception. What I have in here is some garlic from the Hood River Garlic Company in Hood River, Oregon, where they grow over 50 varieties of garlic. And they've shipped out to me some garlic that we're gonna use as seeds to grow our own garlic right here in the backyard. First thing we need to do is unbox this garlic. So let me open it right up and let's see what we've got. Okay, instructions. This is organic, by the way, certified organic. Ah, look at these guys. Couple of bags of organic garlic. I've got a couple of varieties of garlic here. One is called the Organic Susanville. The other is the Organic Shantang Purple. Now these are two different styles of garlic. One is a soft neck, the other is a hard neck. That makes a difference in the way that they grow. I am a novice here with garlic. Uh, I've sold it for many years in the store, but I've never grown it before. This is a first time. So let's go ahead and we're going to start with the Organic Susanville. The, both of these garlics are suitable for both southern hot climates and cooler northern climates. It is actually uh, the 1st of November here and that's the time to plant garlic. We're going to get this in the square foot garden right here and it will winter over and pop up in the spring and we'll have a great crop uh, late spring early to midsummer, something like that. Okay, we're going to start here with peeling back the from the bulb. Now each clove of the garlic is a seed. And so we're going to break this head of uh, garlic apart, taking each clove and planting it. I'm using the square foot planting method here. The, uh, they need to be planted five to six inches apart we're going to go ahead and plant four per square foot. That should give them just enough space in order to grow as they need to. You can see I've removed some of the some of the dirt from the square. These need to be planted uh, with a couple inches of soil on them, especially here in a northern climate where it gets cold. You can see this this portion is going to go into the ground. That's going to be the root portion. If you've ever had garlic at home that has a little green stem popping out the top, well, that's where it comes out right there. And so that will be the top of our plant. So I've just taken my square foot and uh, cut it in half that direction, poked four little holes there, and I'm going to go ahead and plant. It's just about five inches in between those two. And get these all in the ground. Okay, here's our purple garlic. And that is beautiful. You see this in the store from time to time. We're going to go ahead and follow the same procedure with this and plant, plant this out. Uh, in the next row so we can tell them apart next spring. All that's left to do is to cover those uh, little garlic cloves over with about two inches of soil and they're gonna set here for about a month somewhere around the first of December I'll probably mulch them with some uh, composted straw or some leaves or something like that to keep the uh, the really harsh cold weather that we'll have here off of there hopefully preventing a freeze of the ground and they'll just winter over there all nice and be ready to go in the spring interesting when I planted that uh, when I was done planting the purple garlic here uh, is the hard neck that was in the center of that of that uh, head of garlic and that's obviously why they call it the hard neck variety. There was nothing like that in the other one. It just peeled apart and, and the little base was left. This had this super hard neck uh, as a remnant. 
Now, this is the first time I've grown garlic, so this is an adventure for you and for me. I'm excited to see how it goes. I can't wait to see what the harvest is like and to have fresh garlic grown in my own garden. There is a lot to learn about garlic, and I'm going to go ahead and post some additional information on both the Facebook page and our Google Plus page. You can go there and find out more information about garlic. Our thanks to the people at Hood River Garlic up in Oregon for supplying the garlic today for this little adventure that we're embarking on. Be sure to check out their webpage and we'll put a link down in the video description where you can go and you can see their 50 different varieties of garlic. Fascinating. I'm very excited about this. I'm your produce guy looking forward to seeing you next time and as always reminding you that fresh is best. So I've got my regular garlic here. I brought you a couple other varieties to look at. This is an elephant garlic, which is actually not a true garlic at all. It's a member of the leek family. It does have a garlic flavor. You can see how big these cloves are.